welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And today, I'm gonna bring you another Whip It Up Wednesday Crock-Pot meal. I am doing a wonderful Weight Watcher friendly potato soup. And um, this is a collaboration that we're doing every week throughout the winter. This cold weather, it's always great to have a crock pot meal at the end of the day. It's all warm and inviting and smells wonderful when you come home. So today's one of those days. I've got 20 minutes to leave for work, so I decided to bring this to you. Now this is a collaboration between Tina at Will's, Wilhelm's Kitchen, Lisa from Sutton's Days, Heather from the Needy Homesteader, myself, and uh, Mandy from More to Life. And we are bringing you every Wednesday, a Whip It Up Wednesday, new crock pot meal to hopefully inspire you to maybe try some new recipes. We're absolutely inviting everyone to do a video of your own and mention Whip It Up Wednesday and we'll add you to the playlists. So this one could not be simpler. You are gonna need a package of country gravy. Now, I get the sausage flavor um, just because I like it that way. You need a quart of chicken stock. This is out of my home canned pantry. This is chicken bone broth. Um, or you could use vegetable stock if you like. You can get it you know, out of the carton. Uh, you're gonna need uh, a bag of O'Brien potatoes. But I'm not kidding you, I went to two stores and they had none, none. So I just got a bag of the diced potatoes and I'm gonna add my own onions and bell peppers, mixed bell peppers from Thrive. So in, the crock pot and this is a four quart crock pot this is enough um, it's two points per cup uh, per serving and because I don't have that um, uh, the peppers and onions in here I'm gonna go ahead and add them but let me bring you in close so you can watch the rest okay so first you're gonna get your gravy I've got my potatoes in the crock pot and you put them in there frozen you don't have to thaw them first this is probably the easiest meal I make. In a half a cup of water, go ahead and mix up your gravy with a whisk. Because that's all you need to do with this. And I like to let it kind of rehydrate a little bit and get happy in there. And you could use, um, if you wanted to, you could use an additional bit of vegetable stock or or chicken stock, either one. So you take your ooh, nice seal, pop that lid, go ahead. And I'm putting this crock pot on low um, because it's gonna go all day till I get home from work. So, and what happens is the potatoes break down and become absolutely delicious and creamy and it's just a really wonderful soup and as you can see there's plenty of liquid in there let's go ahead with our gravy mix and get as much out of that bowl as you can because you paid for it and then we'll add our peppers and onions and we're done <laughs> how easy is that you could put this on high for a couple hours and it'd be done or you can put it on low. I'm gonna leave it all day long, so it, it will be here when I get home. And, okay, so onions, I like lots of onion. So I'm putting a half cup of, or almost a half cup, not quite, about a third of a cup of Thrive chopped onions. And a half a cup of the mixed bell peppers from Thrive as well. And let's take a look and see if I think I've got enough peppers in there. Oh yeah, that's gonna be fantastic. Oh my gosh, okay. So I will meet you back here when this has had a chance to cook all day long and we get a nice warm bowl of potato soup. Weight Watcher friendly potato soup. All right, lid on and I'll be back. Okay guys, so I just got home and this is done, obviously. I've got it on warm now. But look how thick this gets. It's just fantastic. And I'm excited. Now, you could add meat to this if you wanted, but I wanted you to get the original recipe and you can vary it any way you want. You could put sausage in here, that would be delicious. You could put ham. You could add cheese in here if you wanted. I have done this and added a half a block of cream cheese and a half a cup of cheddar, and it's phenomenal. 
So I'm just going to dish it up the way it is. And ooh, look at, look at, look at, look at that. Yum. Who doesn't love a warm bowl of potato soup? Oh my gosh. I do. Okay, I'm going to get this out of the way for you so I can keep the soup in the picture, right? And give you a little bit of a taste test. So this is what I got. I'm putting some cracked black pepper on there and let's get a picture and I'll be right back when it's not hot lava, because it's lava. Okay, so I think it's had a chance to cool down enough that I can give it a taste for you. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. You got the peppers, the onions, um, the potatoes, and the stock and the gravy. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's still hot. Mmm. <laughs> it's so good. It's absolutely wonderful. Mmm. Absolutely. Now, if you use just a plain white country gravy, it comes out a little bit creamier looking, but I like using the sausage. It gives a little more flavor. It's totally up to you. Or you can use the peppered gravy. That works well, too. Anyways, a cup of this is two points. And guys, oh, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So until next time, I hope that you enjoy this collaboration with the Whip It Up Wednesday girls and um, you try this recipe. It's super easy. You can change it however you want and it's so good and comforting on a cold fall night. And so this one goes down as one of our favorites and I hope it becomes one of yours. Go check out all my girls' channels and see what they whipped up today and let me know in the comments if you've ever had this or you're going to try one of their recipes because no, this is so good. Mm. Mm. Okay, guys. We'll see you next time. <clears throat> Don't forget, go check the links below because you can get the Thrive stuff. It saved my butt today having that Thrive on hand. And um, super inexpensive, per serving, and wonderful. It just came out wonderful. So, see you next time for another.